Hello, everybody. I am Indy McDaniel, and welcome back to Amnesia Machine for Pigs. And I looked up a way to get back into the holding pens after you've locked yourself out of it without doing what you needed to do. And it kind of made me a little happy to uh, looking it up that I am by no means the only person who, who screwed this area up. <laughs> there was a whole slew of people complaining about the, the confusing situation and being stuck in this area and having to reload the game um, to not screw it up. So, I forgot that you can totally pick up chairs. Even though you can't pick up boxes, you can at least pick up chairs. So I can, in fact, make a bit of a stairway back up here. Whoop, shit. Come on, get over there. Now let me up here. Stack this there. Whoop, nope. Nope. God damn it. You fucker. Come on. No, don't. Great. Great. Now it's... Great. Come on. Okay. Get back. R. To rotate. Don't be stuck, you fuck. Come here. You know, get, get all the way out here. Now, rotate so you look like a proper goddamn chair. Almost, almost, get it. Okay, now just turn it around. Tilt it back that way. Now take it over here and put it down. Okay, now get up. Get up. Get up. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on. Fuck. Okay. Um, where am I? Am I still crouching? Okay. Back off. Stand up. Jump up. Jump up again. Jump up. Jump up again. Okay, cool. Now jump up. Jump up. Crap. No. Damn it. Come on. There we go. Yes. Whew. It should not be like that. It should not be that fucking difficult. I had no idea what I was even looking for. I didn't see the little thingy pop out of the other machine. Okay, that's how I transport it back. Where do I get it from? Oh, it's right fucking here, man. There we go. A fame. That should be the only two things I need. So, there we go. Only took the first three minutes of the damn episode to get back up there and fix this thing. So, there you are. There we go. Now, what do I press to get it to work? What's clicking? Oh! This button over here, it's lighting up. Okay, cool. Bam. That's sealing up. As is that. Okay. It's fine. Spin me right round, baby, right round. Ah. That is apparently what I need. Of course, yeah, give me a... A heady brew. I have the compound. It hisses and steams in its container like some living thing. A witch's jelly to burn and corrode. The container is made from glass. A strange choice unless there is some particular reason why the metal that pervades everywhere else cannot be brought into contact with this so-called compound X. I should investigate further for clues. Dude, uh, you don't need to. You already know. I already read that note as to why you don't put it on metal. It's because if you shine light on the metal that it's on, the metal corrodes. Why are you blinking? There we go. Am I supposed to... Oh, oh, that's the lamp. Okay. Fair enough. Burn through that lock, bitch. Get it. Oh! 
Dancing Frog, it's been a pleasure, but I hope I never see you again. Alright, now what? Uh, vision's getting a little wonky, I think. Heavy breathing, slightly. Down here, Daddy. Faster, faster. I'm going as fast as I can, you ungrateful little bitch. Down where? Down here? Hey, look. A ladder to interact with. It's amazing. Okay, now what? Now I'm down here. Oh. Do I just drop? Alright then. Progress. This leaking world. The bottle of gin was empty. Sleep seemed impossible. Above the skyline of London, he could only see the temple rising into the smog. Good for him. Alright. Maybe I'll actually be able to fucking finish this game tonight. I feel like I gotta be getting pretty close to the end. I mean, I'm pretty far down on the ground now. Hi, who, who's snorting? Oh, what? It's very dark. Hello. What happened? Oh. I've fallen yet again. Good for me. Stand up. Get your light out. Oh, yeah, this place looks lovely. Is that piles of feces everywhere? Okay, well, I guess I'll go this way first. Because there's a note. Hello. October 22nd, 1899. Naturally, once bled, the product must be scalded, dehaired, and scraped ready for gambroling and evisceration. For this, we pass them through the steam reservoir, which is kept at a constant temperature by passing excess high-pressure venting from the engines, via the boiler and series of large copper pipes, into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the centre of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at a consistently low temperature, which controls operations of the processing of product throughout the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is of the utmost importance in retaining product quality. And this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. The two problems are therefore combined into a single solution, the removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels draw heat using the principles of convection regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in another. Okay then, maybe that'll be useful. Okay, so there's super hot air going one way, super cool air going the other, that's good, high. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? Maybe. We can use the flow to drive the turbines. <laughs> There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. Hmm. Hey, map. Er, nope. Hello. The flooded tunnels. My mysterious friend is correct. The sewers are indeed flooded. To descend further, I will have to find the local sluice pumps to drop the water levels. The smell is almost unbearable. It makes me gag. Why should the saboteur have flooded the tunnels, though? What did he hope to achieve? I don't know. To add another 20 or 30 minutes to the game? Uh, just, uh, oh. We got invisible uh, goo-goo-doos again? Okay. That's a way. That's a way. Oh. That goes down. Alright, a lot of possibilities here. It's over here. It's another stairway down. Maybe I go this way first. Um, hi? Now what? It's behind me, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Great. Um, right. Right is right. Left is left. And now I'm back. Over here. Oh. Sluice gate two. Um, nope, 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 nope. Okay. A uh, bad idea. I figured it probably was, but shut up. Hi. Whoa. Light freaking out like a motherfucker. Oh, hello. What's up? Hi, Nope. August 1st, 1899, several of the older forms have reached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. Ah, okay. They remind me of my limitations. This is no Chelm, and I am no Eliyehu. At least, not quite yet. 
It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is to blame. We cannot simply pack them about with coolant as we do at the center where the doorway is. The later versions are kept safe by the freezing temperature of those towers. Up here where the air is hot and fetid, they become overheated and their duality tears them asunder as the other place flies from their cells in their Vatai splinters. They live sporadically, torn from one world to the other and back again in violent, unpredictable bursts. For a few seconds they are creatures of this world, then they are torn away and cease to have physical form. This vicious ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I have ordered the affected areas sealed and will not allow my loyal workers to enter. These are damned places now, the abode of failed experiments, ghosts of fear and spite. Okay, so if... Why that phone don't ring? Ring phone, ring. Hi, what's up? I can open you. That's good. Um... Why? Why that sound? Okay, sluice one, sluice two... Whoa! There we go. One is... up. Oh, hi, okay, now you're ringing. What's up? I'm trying. What do you mean, we? This doesn't sound good. This sounds quite terrible. Okay, so I gotta go find another... Um... I hear you growling. Is that you down there? Okay, that's... That's gate two. I still have to find something to drain gate two. Alright. Nope. Okay. Oh, shit. Hi. Well, you're over there now. That's good. That's apparently the way I have to fucking go. It's nice. Hey, you're not there anymore. That's good. Oh, and this is locked. Okay, so now what do I do? This way? Oh, alright. Going down. Oh, great. Oh, no, it's the... Taking water guy. Okay. Probably. Here's something running. Alright. Going around and around and up and down. Left and right. Oh, great. Oh. Shut up. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your problems. Alright, I'm gonna assume this way. Because this, this just looped me back around. This is the one way I've not been yet. Um, this is the way I came from. Okay. So... Sluice gate one. Oh, which is drained now, so I can go down this way. That's good. Still got like two minutes left in the episode. Okay. Hi. Gramophone. What's but up? we can save them. Can we? We can set them free. We can, can we? replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Oh, Mr. Good for us. You sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? That doesn't sound pleasant. And your engineer, this visionary with whom you embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. What? And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And mm. sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. There's, there's the pig references again. It's nice. Okay. So, we got like a minute left. Maybe we can find that little uh, twisty turny lever. And get some shit done. It's down here. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. Oh, here we go. I see you behind there. Come here. Hidden little note. February 17th, 1899. And I said, look, my darlings, can you see it? And they said, yes, daddy, yes, we see it. A tall weathered cap of a steep-sided pyramid so like the those of Egypt. Stone falling away from the summit, vines crawling about, intertwining the stucco serpents that thrive about the steps. A palpable sense of stillness, a way to forgotten, and this here, this is where the king sat. And this is where the priests lived. This house, this is the house of the dead. And here, where the sun strikes, this is where they threw the hearts that were not consumed. 
No, my darlings, they most certainly were not savages. You see, they believed that the sky could fall on their heads, and they truly, truly believed that offering blood was the only way of stopping this from happening. Perhaps, my darling, perhaps they were mistaken altogether. Or perhaps their tragedy was they could simply not spill blood enough to prevent the sky from falling in upon them. Well, I guess we'll never know. Or will we? Alright. So this is the wheel we must turn. Did it! And now I am all out of time for this episode, so thank you for watching. If you liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And until next time, see us.